scientists are making antacids for the ocean. You know when you get a heartburn and pop a Tums? That is an antacid. It neutralizes stomach acid, and now scientists want to do that, but for the entire ocean. And one of the boldest climate interventions ever proposed. Here's why they're considering this. Our oceans absorb about 30% of carbon emissions. Without their help, the earth would be way hotter. But when carbon dioxide dissolves into seawater, it forms carbonic acid. This makes the ocean more acidic, which disrupts its ability to absorb more carbon and ultimately this devastates marine ecosystems. Since the Industrial Revolution, ocean pH has dropped from 8.2 to 8.04. Now, that might not sound like much, but it's a 40% increase in acidity. This is why coral reefs are dying. Corals and other creatures called calcifers build their shells and skeletons from alkaline materials in the water. So when pH drops, these materials become scarce and animals literally start to dissolve. But Earth actually has a self-healing process for this. When rain combines with CO2 in the atmosphere, it becomes slightly acidic. So when rain falls on land, it breaks down rocks containing alkaline materials. Rivers then carry these minerals to the ocean, replenishing their alkalinity. But human activities are now outpacing Earth's natural resilience by orders of magnitude. That's where ocean alkalinity enhancement comes in. Scientists propose adding alkaline substances like sodium hydroxide or crushed minerals to seawater to restore its chemical balance. And in September 2024, researchers did exactly that. They pumped about 16,500 gallons of sodium hydroxide into the Gulf of Maine, tracking it with red dye. This was part of the Loch Ness Project, locking ocean carbon in the Northeast Shelf and Slope. Really rolls off the tongue. If it works, the ocean could absorb more CO2 in store it for thousands of years, but it's not as easy as popping a Tums into the ocean. Dr. David Ho puts the scale in perspective. Actually alkalinizing the entire ocean would be, quote, the single largest thing humanity has ever done. That's partially why this is controversial, but also because we don't fully know how large-scale alkalinization will affect marine life. Plus, adding too much alkalinity too fast can have the total opposite effect. It can actually lower pH and make the ocean even more acidic if not done right. So the consensus at the moment is instead of tackling all oceans, zero in on the areas that are most vulnerable to a marine ecosystem collapse. And there's actual historical precedent for this. Indigenous peoples on North America's West Coast farm clams in these walled gardens for over 3,500 years, regularly adding crushed shells to the sediment. Studies have shown that doing this increased the pH and improved the growth of shellfish by two to four times. Making tons for the ocean was definitely not on my 2026 bingo card, but here we are. I'm curious what you think about this climate change intervention, yay or nay. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.